Why do we applaud the climb of a felon to high office, yet bar a felon from voting in an election? Let's dive deep. Imagine a world where, in one breath, someone can run for president, yet can't vote in the election. Welcome to a peculiar slice of American pie, folks. In places like Texas, a convicted felon might be on the ballot, yet can't check any box while their sentence hangs overhead. It's like being given the keys to a car, but told you can't drive it. This isn't just about voting or running for office. It's about voices. In the land of the free, a voice matters most when it echoes through marble halls, less so when it whispers for change from behind bars. So what's the takeaway? In the quest for liberty and democracy, does America sometimes seem to be installing screen doors on submarines? Now that's a thought to mull over. That's America, 